Before we get started with today's video, I definitely want to take some time to thank my friends over at Soul Avant Garde. All right, so Soul Avant Garde is a place where you can go online, type in the website, and you have a plethora of fragrances from the niche world. Now, niches can be intimidating, so sample, 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 and they have those discovery sets as well. Head over there, look around, shop around, and save you some money by using the code DEDRICK20 on anything on Soul Avant Garde. And, um, you know, it's definitely something where, you know, if you're ready to elevate your fragrance collection or get into something new or tap into another level as far as quality goes, hey, Soul Avant Garde has you covered, all right? So head over there, use DEDRICK20, save anything, um, get anything over there except mind games, except mind games. Don't worry, you can head over to mindgames.com and use Dedrick10 for 10% off anything on mindgames.com. All right, so save you some money, explore, see what you discover, and let me know down below in the comments if you rock with anything. All right, appreciate y'all. Let's get started with today's video. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Dedra Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel, man. Positive vibes only. No negativity whatsoever will be tolerated on this channel at all. But I am more than open to constructive criticism or difference of opinions um about you know, obviously the fragrance related content that you are watching today so we're open for all of that here but no negativity we will not stand for it all right so today i am scared <laughs> i am scared and i am afraid and here is why just joking of course but i have fallen in love with a particular fragrance over the past, I want to say maybe three months, I got to shout out my guy Chris for being gracious enough to send this my way a few months back. And I love this stuff, man. It is fantastic. So the fragrance I'm talking about that I fell in love with is from Essential Parfums. Um, and it is Wa Imperial. This is the fragrance that I love. Haven't had it that long. And as you can see, we have a nice dent forming. So today we're getting ready to smell what this is inspired by or a uh, clone of, I won't say clone, let's say inspired by, all right? Today we're going to smell a particular fragrance that has a lot of conversation in the community, polarizing, either you love it or you hate it, um, but I am nervous that this may uh, force my hand, so to speak, um, and <laughs> want to tap into this and then what's going to happen to Bois Imperial. But today we're going to be smelling a sample um, uh, from the house of, I think it's Mark Antoine Berrios. We're going to be smelling Ganymede today. So here's my sample of Ganymede. This is my sample. And it came in my pack um, when I got my order in from Blue Talisman. Um, shout out to Nose.com um, for being excellent with their customer service and giving out uh, these decants with your order and that's how I um, was able to come across Ganymede and I have been saying for quite some time I was gonna get my nose on Ganymede a lot of you have told me Ganymede 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 Boston Imperial is nice but Ganymede 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 so I know they have the same perfumer in Quentin Beach um, so we're gonna spray this on skin uh, I am very nervous um, and you know we're gonna see what's up so let's go ahead and tap into it nervous and excited at the same time to get into Ganymede. All right, so we're going to spray a couple sprays on my left hand here. Two sprays, nice atomizers from those nose fra nose decanters. Okay. Whew. Okay. So in the air, I get exactly what everybody means in the air. It smells fantastic. It smells fantastic in the air. Wow. I'm getting this uh Big time, like on Brock's and Bomb, I get like a, a like a a whisper of citrus here. Um, but I definitely get some woods, um, and there's a little bit of a spice going on here. So um, maybe two sprays might have been way too much for my skin. I mean, well, to 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 wait, two two sprays may have been a little bit too much because this stuff is strong and it has quickly taken up my airspace. But let's see what we got going on. We got to commit now. We in it now, right? 
Wow. Wow, this is this is really good. Very masculine. Woodsy. I definitely get like this sparkle of like orangey citrus in here. It could be orange, I'm not sure. Um, but I know I've heard people say, I think they said it's a citrus in here, maybe it's a bergamot or something. I don't know, we'll look at the notes in just a second. But I'm getting like this orangey, sparkling, like, definitely spicy, more spicier than Bois Imperial. And I'm definitely getting like this Ambroxany, um, uh, boom with this fragrance for sure. This is very potent. Um, it is rich. Um, it's definitely masculine. I get why people say, you know, Boss Imperial and Ganymede are, you know, in the same realm, but they're not. Ganymede definitely has a lot more uh, going on <laughs> in it than Bois Imperial has, but this ain't for everybody for sure. I do like this as it's currently, like the way it's maneuvering on my skin right now, I do like this. This is definitely something that I would love to uh, acquire or add to my collection at some point in time. But this, this is definitely a heavy hitter here. This is a masculine, a masculine fragrance for sure. This is Bois Imperial amped up. That's what this is. But I think Bois Imperial came after this. Let's go ahead and tap into the notes. Um, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm very uh, intrigued <laughs> right now with the way that this fragrance is smelling and, and with, you know, trying to compare it or, you know, think about my experience with Bois Imperial. But let's go ahead and look up the notes according to our friends over at Parfumo.com. Um, again, from the house of Marc Antoine Barrios. This is a 2019 release. Now I know they have an straight version, but we're smelling the EDP, all right? Um, where we are? Okay, main accords. Spicy, yes. Woody, yes. Leathery, yes. Fresh and definitely synthetic with this unbroxony push in here. Top notes, saffron, and there's that spice, and it is present. Italian, Mandarin, or poor, all right? So Italian, Mandarin, orange. And I definitely caught that in the opening. Like, a, it was very present. It was like a, a whisper of like a citrus in the opening, in the air, really, really nice. In the heart notes, we have Chinese Osmanthus, absolute or poor, with violet. Interesting, I ain't a fan. I ain't the biggest fan of violet or violet leaves, so that's interesting. And then we have Akigala wood, and then we have Immortel, absolute so um this is this is good stuff this is my speed and what do i mean by that well just in my day-to-day -day life when i'm going to the office um you know like i've said many times on this channel monday through thursday i'm in a button down some slacks and some hard bottoms um so i'm really coming with those uh office friends those office scents uh, some bangers. I'm uh, mixing it up with some masculine fragrances as well. Um, that's that, that kind of announce your presence, um, especially if we're talking about quality. And this is quality. This is something that I would not wear in the high heat, even though I've seen some people say they would wear it um, all year long. I think that's what the difference is when you talk about Bois Imperial, because Bois Imperial isn't this heavy. Does it have a, 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 a big time uh, density uh, to the fragrance? It, it doesn't. It doesn't have it compared to what Ganymede has. Ganymede has the, the strength. Ganymede has the power <laughs> behind it. Um, so I don't think in my everyday wearing. I don't think with what um, I got going on with uh, my day to day life, Bois Imperial is not going to be redundant here. I get it. I definitely understand the conversation more than ever. Um, woodsy, um, musky, um, um, and, and that's pretty much what you get here. You get that Ambroxany bomb here as well um, with this, but with this, we're talking, yeah, man, the dry down, it's really nice, man. 
it's 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 really nice and it ain't gonna be for everybody i get why people say they don't like it it's polarizing i get why people say they love it um for where i am right now that leathery uh the leathery tones of spices um the woodsy fragrances that really pronounce themselves uh you know pretty well i'm a fan of those i'm a fan of those and i am a fan of ganymede i can only imagine what the straight smells like like only i can only imagine yeah, yeah i know y'all both saying but um this is good man and at some point at some point i'm going to acquire this fragrance while continuing to wear boss imperial but this is something i will not wear in the summertime i just don't see myself wearing this in the summer in the high heat this is strictly going to be for the office those business opportunities if a, prom a job promotion comes up if i want well, a job yeah, a job promotion comes up and, you know, I can kind of make some moves there. I would wear this to an interview. Um, I wouldn't wear this on a first date. Um, not a first date. I wouldn't wear this on a date. Um, I'm really curious if the wife uh, likes this. Now, she likes Bois Imperial. She complimented the very first time that I wore it. Let me know while I was at work. Hey, whatever you're wearing today, that smells great. By the time I got home, she had put her nose on it already. She said that she liked it. So I'm curious to see if she's going to feel the same way about Ganymede because Ganymede is on a different vibe on a different vibe, vibe for sure so i can't i cannot talk about the performance i can't talk about you know what it does out in the field because i haven't tested it there i haven't tested it um out in the field just yet but currently right now i really like this fragrance i see the conversation i get the conversation of the comparisons to bois imperial um i will still be wearing bois imperial it's like a much fresher a cleaner take on Ganymede and I can appreciate that um, I would wear this to the office much more than Ganymede but just depends on how I'm feeling if we got the fresh body the beers lined up you know what I mean and, and I'm just feeling like that <laughs> when I wake up in the morning you know to go to work we could you know do, 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 do some Ganymede so um, I'm very happy to experience this uh, this is good and shout out to Nose uh, for sending this sample my way with my order of blue talisman so um, I'm going to wear this sample. I think with this little sample here, I probably could get five or six wears before I have to get a bottle, like seriously, because this is some potent stuff, but I do like it. It is masculine. It is different. That orange and saffron, those woods, that leathery vibe. And this is two sprays on my hand. As it starts to dry down, it kind of, it kind of gives off this, like this little burnt like this little like thin layer of like a burnt smell i don't know if that's the immortal and the saffron combining with the leather but i like how it smells i didn't i didn't i don't want that to come off as a negative because it's not um but it's like this little light burnt like some of y'all like uh some of y'all like y'all uh you know some of the dishes out there have a little bit of burnt to it like the crispiness of your pizza crust or the a little bit extra crispiness on that Bratsworth or that that that, that sausage dog or something like that or that hamburger that's that's the route I'm going that's probably going way over everybody's head including mine so I'm going to stop more little story is I like Ganymede it's not going to deter me away from Boy Imperial thank goodness I'm going to wear this sample and get more wear see how it performs the longevity and get back to you guys. But at some point very, very soon, you guys are gonna see a bottle of Ganymede um, on this channel. You are going to see it. Really good stuff here, interesting stuff here, and uh, it ain't for everybody, and it is masculine. If you take nothing else from this video, it ain't for everybody, sample, 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 and it is masculine for sure, all right? All right, so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed um, my very first impressions of Ganymede. I have been saying I was going to get my nose on and get a sample of, uh, get a sample of it at some point in time. I do really like it. Um, I'm going to let this continue to do what it's doing on my hand and spend some more time with it, wear it out into the world, and see what we get from there. But Ganymede is like that for me, and it's not that it's it's not well. It's far away. It's getting far away from Bois Imperial. They're like distant cousins. One lives in Florida and the other one lives in California. That's how I think about these two right now. All right, so let me know down below in the comments how many of you have uh, love for Ganymede or hate for Ganymede. What are your thoughts for Ganymede? Do you like it more than Bois Imperial? Do you like Bois Imperial more than Ganymede? Like which one 
um is it you know let me know down below in the comments all right so until next time y'all be cool y'all be safe y'all take care of yourselves y'all know what it is man positive energy positive vibes as always remember what you put onto this world is exactly what you're going to get back and of course spag it up spag it out spag that thing all around all right appreciate y'all thank y'all for the love and support on the 17k it's crazy appreciate y'all you probably hear my little son out there getting active let's see what's going on spag